when I first saw the uh, title for Ambassador Jai Shankar's paper, I thought that was a typo error because it says China-India relations 50 years after. I thought we had inadvertently left out the last few words or a date. After what, I ask. Now, after listening to him, I now know that it was deliberately left out because obviously he was trying to share with us that 1962, and this is 50 years after 1962, while it remains an important historical point of reference, point of reference which continues to influence relations between the two countries, it has not always been that salient if you look at contemporary relations between India and China. So he's framed two narratives for us to think about. One narrative, essentially a relationship political and strategic relationship that continues to be framed or influenced by the legacies of 1962. But alongside that narrative, there's another one, where it is a story about common interests and aspirations in economic relations and on cooperation on global issues which affect the respective sovereignties and interests of these two countries. So there are two um, narratives existing side by side. One is to try to understand the relations between India and China. But yet, these two narratives are not set in any predetermined trajectories. They carry within themselves uh, innate hopes and challenges. So the efforts of 1962, as Ambassador has explained, are being pulled by a series of ongoing bilateral initiatives that are leading to certain concrete outcomes. At the same time, economic relations, while they are very encouraging and healthy, continue to carry with them a series of challenges such as market access and uneven trade patterns and so forth. So it's obviously a very complex relationship that is evolving and there is a need to understand the complexities as well as the convergences and complementarities between these two Asian giants. So on that, I'm going to now ask my fellow panelists um, to respond to Ambassador Jai Shankar's paper. And I request that 